We're here to solve this Kakarot hexagonal puzzle by Marajan Tanta. It's got a lot of cells that have some constraints on them, like, you know, this is a 5 with a 9 or a 6 with an 8. This is 1 with a 5 or a 2 with a 4 coming off these sums. Um, but let's go to some of the ones that are much more forced. This 4 is a 1 with a 3. And doing that doesn't immediately give me any placements, but it does intersect this 10 clue coming across, which has some fun constraints. So this cell can't be a 1 or a 3 because it's touching to both of those digits. So this is a 2, 4 cell. We have a 1, 2, 4 cell and a 1, 2, 3, 4 cell here for this 10, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, the set of things we've now marked in does eliminate a little more there, but this still isn't yet a good breakthrough, but I think this is a good start with this 2, 4 marking. And, this one, two, four marking. This 16 down here is another cell that, uh, or another clue that gives a lot of thinking at the start, in part because it's a seven and a nine for sure, and that nine breaks this 14 clue. It would leave just five behind in three cells, which can't work, so this has to be seven with nine. The remaining digits will be one, two, four, but we can't put a four here because it has to work with this eight sum. And uh, it's actually the case, it looks like this one, two is not only constraining here, it's constraining in the other direction where we're seeing an 18 sum. We're gonna be leaving behind 17 or 16 in these two cells, which is nine with eight or nine with seven, but it's not this nine in this bottom cell. And nine will have to come up top with seven, eight in these cells. These two nines now take a place where we could have at the start of the puzzle marked all these options. We now no longer have uh, sorry, uh, that's not how this goes. It'd be 6969 six, nine, or 7878. Eight. We no longer have 69 options here for the 15. We have 78s working, and these two make a pair that eliminates the 7 from the cell, eliminates the 1 from the cell, and gives us these uh, candidates to go. Do we have anything more we can do off that? Well, this 2 actually uh, finishes this uh, set. So we get the 7 place, the 8, 7 place. The 7 is part of an 18 sum. So we've got 11 to go in four cells. That's 1 and 2 and 3 and 5. So it skips over the digit 4. Uh, so placing that in, we now have 2, 3, 5 left to go in these cells. And we can see some values that these really can't be. Um, this 19 can't be large. So 2 of 1 is how that goes. This 21 can't have three, which is too small, leave behind 18 and two cells, which is impossible. So this has to be the five. And that leaves behind seven, sorry, 16, uh, yeah, 16, which is nine and seven. We get those marked through. Where might the next point of progress be? We still wanna get to the sprite side, which has a lot that's poised to make progress on but I think it's gonna to have to come through working through this 32 clue. Um, the 32, now that we've put five into it, it does have a constraint, it's gotta be three or larger for the remaining digits, three, seven, eight, nine, or four, six, eight, nine, or ways this goes. It looks like in all cases, we need to have a nine in it. So we've got two places for nine. They both look like they can work. So that's not necessarily what it is. And I think it has to have an eight in it, but all the cells look like they work for an eight. Um, this is a cell that sees the most digits. Let's think about it right now. It can't be a 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, or 2, and it can't be a 1 because that's too small. So this looks like it has a 3, 8 constraint on it. But it's part of this big diagonal. I haven't looked at this clue yet at all, but 31 is a pretty noticeably low sum for a 7-digit set. It's missing 14 from 45. 1 through 9 is 45. And so 14, once the 9 is gone, is 8 plus 6. So actually the remaining digits in this diagonal are one, two, three, four, and five. And so this has to be a three. And that does give us a nine, eight, seven set over on the right. So this is eight or nine, this is seven or eight, this is seven, eight or nine. And these remaining things down here, two, four, five, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, five. Um, that three giving us these digits now lets us actually work off this 10 sum in three cells. So uh, seven is as small as it can go and it has to be that small or we wouldn't be able to get the sum to work out. Once this is one or two, we have six, seven in these cells, but this sees the seven. So this is a six, uh, two with a one up above. We have an eight, nine pair working through here. This two eliminates this cell from being a two. Do we get anything else from it? Um, 
I think one thing is with the 17 sum is now thinking about how do we make this whole set work. And this can have 5, 4, and 1, which is 10. That's too large. If it didn't use the 5, have 2, 4, and 1, which is 7, which is bad. So I think we can force this to take the 5 and force it to take the 2. And in doing so, it has to be 9 with 8 coming across. That 5 puts in this 1, puts in a 3, 1. This puts in a 4, so we've got some good progress from that. I have a 4, 5 left there, 2, 4 left here. Um, it looks like we've got one cell left in this diagonal for the one, which is right here, so we can mark that in. Um, if this is a one up top, one with five gives us a total sum of six, needs a nine in the middle. That doesn't work, so this looks like this is a two-four set. And that two-four set itself may still be pretty constraining. Uh, let's sort of come to some other cells. This cell sees a lot of digits, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is left to just being a 2 as a single. That forces this to be a 4 up top. Um, puts in a 2, 4. This then gives us a 5 and a 2. This cell sees 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is a single for a 5. And this whole space now Let's see, we've got a work coming across. This is an eight coming across. We have all the digits but four and seven in the space because this is an eight cell direction and the four is up above. So this has to be a seven. We have one, two, three, four, and then seven here. So we have five, six, eight, nine to go in the space. This cell sees eight, nine, and six. So this is a five. And that means we have eight, nine, six as the remaining spaces. So this is six, nine. This is 869. This is 869. We have put in one of the finished sums we know, but we have 564 to finish this coming up. That eliminates a 6 option here, which eliminates an 8 option there. Let's see, what other sums do we have? This 20 working up, we have 9 with 6 would be 5, or 9 with uh, Nine with nine would be two, so a two five set there. This 15 might um, come into play, the 17 might also come into play. So, what are some constraints around these? If this is a nine, let's see, is the constraint going to be around the digit nine? Like, we, we can't hear the cell X key. Um, two, three, four, five, six are down below to the right, and one is down below to the left. So this is as small as a seven, and it can only be as large as an eight. And so if this has a seven, eight constraint around it, how does this work? Um, eight with six would put a two in here, but the cell can't be a two. Seven with six would put a three in here and a one. So this is an absolute minimum with seven limiting to six, limiting to three. And that does give a sum of 17. That six here now actually resolves nine with eight for this row. Nine one eight resolves this to be a two. Marking off this eight option marks off this six option. Now this is just five with nine, but there's a nine down here. So this is a five up top, a nine in the cell. We have to get this 15 sum to still work. And so let's look at his cells and see which are more limited. This cell looks more limited. This can be a three, a four, or a five. If it's a 3, it puts a 6 here, that's no good. If it's a 4, it puts a 5 here, which is no good. So this is a 5 required, makes this be a 4 required. Now let's just go to some cells that look constrained. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. So this has last digit 6. This sees 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a 1 or 8. This sees all those but 1. So 1 and 8 forced. And this sees 1, 2, four, five, six, seven, eight, not three. So um, good set of eliminations, some challenging uses of sum and interactions of sums like the pair down below that gave us a six using this whole empty column with the hard sum across this 32 to get a three. That was a good deduction in there. And then even taking some limited constraints here to just force these last placements on the right side. This is a pretty hard Friday puzzle and hopefully this video gave you some of the steps to break through if you got stuck. So thanks for watching this video and we'll see you again soon.